What's up guys? How you guys doing? Okay, so today it's uh, like a story time. I want to like play the tape back a bit to my university and my secondary school days. And the truth is, mm, I went into university with an accounting acceptance letter, admission letter, yeah? But I graduated with a sociology degree. If you are interested in knowing like the backup story, you should keep watching because it's definitely going to be an interesting one and I feel like something everybody needs to learn. See God's plan and your plan sis. <laughs> welcome back to my channel so guys i went into school if you've not subscribed by now this would be a good time to do that so i went back up i graduated in like 2013 24 yeah 2013 i got into school in 2014. so i was in commercial class as i should be since given the fact that i want to be an accountant and stuff i was I wasn't I wasn't a bad student. I would not say I was a I was not an A list student, like yeah, I wasn't. I suck at maths especially. But I wasn't like a horrible student. I was I was average. Yeah, I think that's the word I was average. I was good at what I was good at and I was bad at things I was really bad at. I was good at other subjects. If I even got I even got um what's it called? I got this gift, this um prize on prize giving day. I think I got gifts for like accounting ones, I got gifts for commerce and stuff. But you see, I was an Olodo, even if I was getting those gifts because I suck at mass. I suck at um I think you remember but yeah, I later I had my feet eventually. But that's not why we are here today and we are not here to discuss why i suck at those subjects but long and short of the story i scaled through i did um work i made my papers i had a d in maths though but i applied for university kogi state university which is like yeah i mean cool guys kogi state university and i got my admission i applied and of course i passed <laughs> not so bad though <laughs> I passed and they gave me um, my admission letter and came out as accounting which was lovely because that was what I wanted because I have already envisioned myself as an accountant but you know how this God's plan is not your plan it's true guys like no pressure but the truth is if you want to do things your way you will end up in deep issues so I decided that accounting was the best fit I got my admission what else then i also got to realize that i had a d in maths which might pose a problem during my screening which might also not because sometimes they take a d in maths but it wasn't a short thing yeah you have to have at least c6 if you're in nigeria you understand the system c6 in maths so long and short of the story i started having second thoughts and people that were helping me like that were in school back then were already telling me that well it might not work and stop accounting they might bounce you during screening bouncing me during screening means i'm going home to waste for another year which i did not plan for thank you <laughs> eventually i spoke to god i think prior to that time i've always been one to tell god that see what i want is beautiful what i want is amazing but if it's not what you want for me then i can let it go it might be very painful i said like i used to say if you if i have to cry my elbows out just remember that if it's not your plan please don't let it work let me cry it out and let me live on another day sha i have forgotten i made those vows and i had that agreement with god i'm a human being i forget things so it came up and they said okay you have to like write another exam and i wanted to use my results from my school from my secondary school for very funny reasons i i felt like i have suffered too much in my secondary school quote and unquote that i would not want to use that result like i wanted the result from that school i said okay i'll wait for neko when neko comes out thank god school i've not resumed when neko comes out hopefully i make my papers and oh, we'll go ahead again neko came out i made all my papers like in a's and b's and c's but I had a D again in maths and I was like, okay, this is becoming like a very serious issue. And I think that was not enough. I decided to go for NAPTEP. Another qualifying exam, I wrote it. Like NAPTEP was not even the best exam. Like NAPTEP was that exam that people cheated. In my secondary school, cheating was like the least thing that can happen. Like it cannot, it doesn't happen. They 
practically make us walk barefoot into what I can echo exam hall, like we went to a dash street. It's a very fantastic school, by the way. Uh, a lot of things I don't agree with in the school, but education-wise, it was a good school. So, NAPTEP came out to go and write this in another school. I wrote this in a school where they practically were writing the answers on the board. It's not a good practice, but they were doing it. And guess what, guys? Result came out. <laughs> guess who did not make a paper? Me. I made all my papers and I did not make my math. I also had this and I was just thinking to myself, this result, all these answers were on the board. How on earth can I possibly still have this seven? <laughs> and God was just there watching and laughing and all sorts. <laughs> but no wahala. Then I now told myself that whoa, it's like it's time to bounce, or like it's time to decide what I want. And my parents gave me the liberty, thanks to them. They were not those parents that if it's not accounting, you can do something else. This, da, 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 da. They were not like that, praise God. So I was left to the decision of my counselor, like somebody in school that my mom was in contact with said, I would have to, I most likely would have to change my course if I still want to keep this admission. I definitely want to keep the admission. Like I, I could not imagine staying home another year when I knew my my mates were already in school because my school was was on strike at that point. So I didn't want to stay at home another year. And I told myself, whoa, Kotoba Mashele, whatever we happen, we happen. I have to change my course. So they gave me options. Am I going to do political science or I'm going to do sociology? Should be told, I know nothing about these courses. And well, no course is bad here, yeah, but at the same time. There are some people that rate some courses above each other, which is not the nicest things because we will all succeed by God's grace if we would succeed. Let's just put that right there. And if if you feel like a course is not good enough for you, don't worry. You can just wait it out and get the form. Don't go to a course and be saying, eh, it's because of this thing, they push me. Then you will not now actively do well. It's not nice. So I got, and I knew that I really wanted to graduate. I was an average student, yes, but I wanted to be more than just an average student. I wanted to really do more. I wanted to know more. I, was, I wanted to challenge myself. So I'd already told myself that going into the university, I'm going to do better than I did in secondary school, one way or the other, even if I wasn't an honorable student back then. So I said, okay, I prayed about it. I, I, I don't know. Somehow I still feel like I made the decision blindly, but I prayed about it and I just said, okay, why not? I'm going to do this. And they also told me this, you can work anywhere. Anyways, I'm still doubting that. <laughs> so I prayed about it and I decided that I was going to go for sociology, which I did. And it turned out it wasn't the worst decision ever. Because I remember that I told God that I wanted I wanted to really come out in flying colours in university and I also did wanted to um, I wanted his will to be done and not mine. I am so sure that if I was in accounting, they were like, there's not so much mass there. Me, I don't know, Sha, but that's their business. That if I had gone to accounting, I probably wouldn't have graduated where I graduated. Yeah, I graduated with a 2 one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, that's not the point, yeah? I graduated well. Not because I was in a lesser department, because I worked twice as hard to make sure that going into another department that I didn't want to go into, but I had to, I was going to do well. And I wasn't going to come out with anything less. And I was not going to say that because I had to change my course, like find, play the blame game on every other person. I was not going to do that. Like I went in with the heart of, I want to do well. And I did come out well with my results. Do I have any regrets? Honestly speaking, I don't. And that's that's the thing about this choosing your course and stuff. <clears throat> I know a lot of people are at that stage now that you you have a course that they are giving you a course instead of the one you want and you are in between. I'll wait it out or I'll go home. If you want to wait it out, it's fantastic that you want to wait it out. No guarantees that what you want will happen next year, but there's also no guarantees that you will not get that medicine course. You want medicine, but you are giving physiotherapy. It's not what you want. But are you ready to be the best physiotherapist that there is? So the whole point of this is life gives us lemons, like they say. You can decide to make lemonade. You can decide to use your lemon to marinate meat, chicken, beef, whatever. You can also decide to throw away your lemon or use it to 
to form detox, um, detox water or whatever it is but you used your lemons either ways the outcome depends on what you do and also speaking frankly right now speaking frankly right now people that wait it out a year they have good stories to tell and i admire them i admire your courage to even want to write jam again that like jam again i admire your courage but people that also went for those courses half of them i can tell for a fact that over 70 percent of people that had to choose courses that were not their initial courses did well or at least came out happier than when they went in for the course so i just want to know that life is it's a very funny and dicey thing you always try to take your matter to the lord and when you keep when you ask for something from god and it's happening don't throw away the signs because if i had and i decided to do accounting i am not joking i would have put the same effort into it but i am not sure i would have come out like with the kind of result i came out with not just to one like i came out when i'm saying i came out with a very good result is not even that i'm trying to brag is that i'm trying to say that life can be funny but are you ready to walk are you ready to decide that well i will do this either with i'm putting my best at it so so far so good that's how i graduated from Kogi State university as a second class of our graduates that should have been first class let's let me not forget to put that <laughs> you guys i'm just messing around right now but know what god the whole point of this video is know what god plan is for your life and even if you don't know, if he is directing you, follow his lead. Don't try to be smart. Don't try to say, oh well, you know that I want this thing, let me just go. You might end up meeting very dangerous things on your way. Follow God's plan. It might not be easy, but hey, I have a good story to tell. Who says you won't have a good story too? okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you learned one thing or the other from it and if you did learn something i hope you hold on to it and improve on it my name is ayola and you guys already know <laughs> if you don't know you are knowing now please don't forget to subscribe to this channel watch this video um share it because it might just inspire somebody that needs to see this um yeah don't forget to like share comment and i love you guys i'll see you guys in my next video